Now let's create our panel that will be used as the, the Ajax modal pop-up. Give it a width of 650, a height of 90, style, we give it a style, display none, so that it doesn't show at all whenever the page is, is rendered. Let's add a new table within the, within the panel. This table is going to be the pop-up, which will contain the labels and the text boxes uh, that will allow the entry of the new company data. We'll add a text box to capture this information. I created the company name label, the company email label, and the company size label offline. They should look like this. As well, I created the company name text box, the company email text box, and the company size text box, which should look like this. So let's add our OK and cancel buttons to the within the panel. But, uh, Home span equal four and a horizontal line equal center. And set a button. And let's put a little space in there. Amber sign in B S P. And then add another button, cancel button. So let's add our modal pop-up extender. 
So after the panel, cl close tag, we're going to put CC1 modal pop up extender ID equals modal pop up extender one. Run at server. Let's go target control ID will be the image that we added, which is called add company image and pop up control ID equals our panel, which we called modal panel. To make our modal pop up look good, we're going to need to add a cascading style sheet. So let's create a new folder. Let's call it include. And let's add a new item style sheet. In the style sheet, let's add these classes, modal, background, let's call it filter, opacity equals 40. grayish four six eight two b four and as well we'll add a modal class background color the same four six eight two b four the color will be white and the border be solid, two pixels and white. So now let's go make a reference to it. Let's open our default.aspx file. Here we will go link equals style sheet type equals text CSS and the href will be let's go pick it and include in our default.aspx file let's add reference to our cascading style sheets from our panel within our panel equals it's going to be the modal and then within the modal pop-up extender we're going to add background CSS class equals it's going to be modal 